everybody, my name is Sean Hinton. I'm Nicholas Kilmore. And I'm Candace. We are a team that each and every week, Tuesday and Thursday, go check us out on our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to our content. Well, we'll have a Let's Play or a drinking game, apparently. Um, whatever the hell we feel like playing or doing, we'll just videotape it. So, <laughs> shit is right. So today, we're going to jump right in. We're going to play Far Cry Primal. Now, this game just came out. It was uh, February 23rd. And uh, first first comments of the game is it's actually very stunning, beautiful looking game. And uh, bugs everywhere. Bugs are everywhere. It's like nature They're detail and shit. bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nature shit. Nature and shit. <laughs> right. So this is, it's pretty right. obvious, this is 10,000 BC. This is the time period it, it's in. Now, Nick. Um, like we, cavemen? Like cavemen, yes. Okay. Yeah. So basically the whole, pro there's really no story to it. You know, any Far Cry game, I get, you, you do get a story, but uh, it's far-fetched. It's, it's nothing. Time out. Yeah. You're saying any Far Cry game. Yes, there's multiple Far Cry games. So. This actually, technically, I would say is Far Cry 5, if they wanted to label it. Like, only PlayStation. No, it's uh, across all consoles. So you can get it on Xbox One, you know, on PlayStation what, 4, okay, PC. Okay, time out. Yeah. What was the first Far Cry on? Nick probably has a better answer than uh, X. I don't know, right? I'm the, just the, trying the, to get a history. The first one I've ever played was mm -hmm. on the original Xbox. Right. And it wasn't... Uh, Primal. It wasn't like a caveman game. It was like rookie. I was on like jet skis and running over people on jet skis, and it was on an island. And huh. you had like superpowers. Yeah, you had superpowers. And I, that's all I remember, honestly. I mean, it's been so long since I played that one. I, I don't. Remember. Can I ask a question? Hold on. Wait for your questions. One second. Okay. So what we're going to be doing? We're actually going to just kind of run around. Okay. Get used to the game, okay? Um, this is my kitty. It's an open world sandbox game. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a sandbox game is, it's basically they, they put a map together, they put all these like events and missions into this giant world, and they just kind of throw you in it, and you just kind of explore and do things at your leisure, okay? And this is my luxurious home in Hollywood. Ooh, so with any Far Cry game, the whole thing is it's basically you just explore the map, you unlock right, different so you, types you of like run around now? safe zones. Yeah. Run around and do shit. And I like, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, do prim primal and stuff. Shit. Is that gonna come down and hurt me? Uh, probably not. Oh. What time have I shot a bird out of the air though? Shoot not, like not a firefly. We're pretty far in the game, too, so this is about, I want to say, 40 hours into the game. Oh, wow, really? I, but Jeez. I have not put... <laughs> I'm going to shoot a fish. I want to shoot a fish in my arrow. Good 40 luck to hours. Whoa. Well, any kind of si sandbox game, you get there's a lot of time that you have to spend. So campaign-wise, probably lasts about 20 hours. But like I'm saying, this, there's not much story here. The, this Really, the story of this game is you're trying to... Recruit more villagers, expand your village, make it bigger. Um, you, you got some very generic bad guys, you know, like tri um, rival villages or whatnot. Yeah. Um, Time out. Real quick. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, I'm asking. The big thing those. about this game, though, is that you get these pets or these beasts. So right now, Nick has a saber tooth cat like that he's actually tamed, and you can sick people. Is who's that dude? Like, what's he doing? <laughs> He's from The Sims. He's got that great kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah. So the, the guy in the blue right there, that the guy to the right, is actually the bad guy. So if oh. you... Yeah, Wait. The, the green is your allies, the red... Oh. Are, there you go. In your oh. face. In your face. Can I ask a question? Okay, now you are can you? start asking okay. questions. Okay. Is this the first Far Cry game you bought? This is the first Far Cry game I've played. Yes. Why start now? Oh, yeah. Pick up the body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to hide him. You could do like little sneaking missions if Have you want or whatever. Have a eaten Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Here's uh, your meal. He actually will. He'll um, pick him up in his mouth and start chewing on him. Okay, All right, tell him to do that. answer my question. So I, I picked this up because I like the fact that 
this was more of like a see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He needs <laughs> to awesome. eat. He needs to eat for the energy. Remember right. when we talked about good energy, not bad energy, right? Yeah. You eat certain things, yeah. it's good energy. That's right. <laughs> Eating humans is good energy, apparently. <laughs> so no, I want. I thought this game looked very interesting. So I saw some uh, let's plays on it, and I love the the world that it's in. You know the the open wilderness. Very it, to me, it's just a really stunning looking game. It's getting critically. It's not getting the best score. I think it's getting average scores like seven, eight, which is not bad. Metacritic. Uh, yeah, yeah. But overall, I mean, if you just look at the game, look how gorgeous it is. You know, it's like, for me, it's like, I want to jump into this world. I want to know, I want to know what the, what the, what the whole principle of this game's about. I mean, it, it just looked good to me. Um, but you have a good point. It's like, why get into Far Cry now rather than earlier? I've never heard of it until, like, now. Well, it's because I've never played it. It could be yeah. one big reason why. Yeah, I've never actually met so okay, if there's no plot line. There is a plot. It's just but you said there's not no very deep. story. There's really not a deep What's story. What's the point of playing it? It's to expand your village. So you're basically killing bad guys, getting some villagers to side with you, so you can expand Ooh. your tribe. Clam. Clam. Where's the naked babes? <laughs> Where, oh, what? we were talking about this. Yeah, okay, well, they're saying? cavemen, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you do see some naked. Yeah, what did they use to wear back National then? National Geographic jigs in here. I mean, their nipples are really big. Uh, what, like, would you say when I was breastfeeding? <laughs> Pancake nipples, yeah. Like, I guess. Really? You see nipples in this game? You do, you see some nipples. Do kids play this? Well, it's it is rated a certain age, yeah, hey, so like, it's not like, you, not that it's hard, I mean. Okay, let's find the naked chicks Kids here. will play it anyway, parents don't care what their kids play. You know what, I'm going to be on top of that shit when my kids are at age of playing this. We're going to be watching the fuck out of what they're playing, and you know, because you know all games, they'll have a dad that knows it all about video games. That is true. So, if they're like, oh, hey, I want to play, what's that, Grand Theft Auto 8. Daddy, what are you going to say? No, they're not going to play. Are they bad? Grand Theft Auto? No, these uh, are Yeah. Are so they you blue? See by the red. See, okay, if they're blue. Look at him, look at him, he's sitting there, I was like, I wonder if Stacy likes me. I wonder if Stacy's going to go out with me. No, she won't. Yeah, she was did. not expecting and he's like, yeah, I should ask that Stacey before what I happened? No, you're not going to ask that Stacey before oh. I have to see your dip. Okay, first of like, all, I should ask that Stacey. What did you, like, what the what did you look around the fire? Where did that, oh, the arrow came from behind me. They were not looking. Yeah, Ubisoft. Yeah, so video game people are so out. stupid. If you look at your mini map on the left, bottom left corner, you can see like the red dots. It means that there's some bad guys around. Oh. Your blue dot is okay. your pet. That doesn't make sense because you said if they have blue on their bodies. Like that's the tribal colors. But if they're marked red. Means red and bad yeah. evil. Oh, a but they're blue. You can see your, uh, your animals get attacked there. No, 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 it should be able to. That's one thing about this game. It's pretty, it's pretty damn brutal. I mean. Clubbing in people's faces and stuff. That's a deer. I don't know. You can stick your pet on guys too. If you hold down L, L1. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, go and try that. And then, no, oh, I'm sorry, it's L2. And then push R1. Get his balls. Yeah. There you go. So you pack him, and now he's going to fire. He's setting them on fire. And so you can actually light your Dude, you can light, you can light your sticks on fire too. Crazy long face. If you want to hold down L, and then 
and then because you get set on fire by holding down square. Set on fire? You put, hold down L and then hold down square. And it's going to set it on fire. There you go. Knee. Okay. Uh, there you go, buddy. Not even. I don't know. I think saber tooth tigers had short tails. She did. She or he? Yeah. I don't know. No, she got. Yeah, but they're painted on. They're like yeah. Haze. We were just talking about this. Like we're in our thirties, right? Like, I feel like there should be more games with with boobs and movies, right? Oh, That's what yeah, we were talking about and you were like, yeah. hold your God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so what, right were, what were you guys thinking? You guys started to talk about, okay, so, we need more games with nudity and stuff, because I'm older, and like I want to play more mature games. That, and for the parents that don't monitor what your kids play, wouldn't you rather them see a naked body than be... Like, turned on by guns and shit. For real. Like, I would rather much Jacob. Like, oh yeah, boobs. And yeah, guns. That's our son. Jacob and... Okay, <laughs> if we ever mention the words Jacob or Tyler, it's our two sons. Yeah. And I would rather Jacob be excited over boobs, tits and ass, than guns and killing people. Like, like really. To yeah, me, yeah. yeah. Like, I've seen some videos that kids post of them playing Grand Theft Auto, and it's like disturbing. Like you shouldn't yeah, even know about right. that stuff yet. <coughs> you shouldn't even know about that stuff yet. I mean, but then again, should they really want to do this? But yes, back in the fifties or whatever, they used to sneak Playboys or whatever they used to sneak old fashioned shit. You know, this kind of brings up a like a big controversy that. Am I not allowed to say anything? No, you're good. You're fine. Now, okay. what I what I was going to bring up is that a lot of times these kids that shoot up the schools, a lot of a lot of thoughts have been, well, you know, they've played these video games, so they're strongly influenced by, you know, the Grand Theft Autos of like just going into town and shoot, going on a shooting spree, grabbing a grabbing a, a car and then running away. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do you think that that because to me, I don't... I mean, yeah, you can... Okay, a smart kid ah. would know the difference between realistic and fantasy. But kids or people that aren't right in the head, they will not know. And they they fantasize about guns. Like, I would much rather my son fantasize about tits than guns. Like... Okay, can you kill people with tits? No. You just squish them around and play with them. Or be like, yeah. But you can't kill people with tits. Right? No, you can't. <laughs> Unless you're a fembot from Austin Powers. Remember that? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're right. You <laughs> keep saying yeah. that you've got to. Right. <laughs> that bear's going to come attack you. At first, you didn't make sense to me, but then you made perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now we right. get it. Yeah, awesome powers. Oh, you got bit ah. by a snake. Oh, that's bullshit, really? I just <laughs> Now you're poisoned. The snake. poison goes away pretty quickly. So here's the thing. Do you think that you think that there should be some regulation on publishers for freedom of speech to be able to not have that type of content in video games? No. No, I or think it's it up to the parents to monitor what the fuck it's they the buy their kids. Parents. Like, fuck. Watch the fuck what you're buying your kids. Like, if it's rated M, it doesn't mean M for, what's the word for M? That's innocent. M for mama. It's a word, it's M for mature, like 18 and older. Get on that, so, get on that pussy and write it. <laughs> That's a cat, man. Get on that pussy and write it. No, but there really, you if you're a parent, you have to really monitor what you're letting your kids Play. Yeah, that's true. Because you know, sometimes I'm at GameStop and like they're required by law to let them know if they're with their parent that they let the parent know, like, hey, this is a mature game. Are you okay with that? And all every time, 100% of the time, the parent says, yeah, I don't care. You know? And then they turn around, they blame, 
they play uh, video games. Yeah. This beer is absolutely terrible. This beer yeah. is bad. I okay. Really bad. Yeah, he bought it back in October, November. Yeah. Dude, you took out a you took out a cave bear on a cat. Is that good? Bear. That's pretty crazy. I got meat, animal fat, animal high, and my pack is full. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, they're definitely. The, I I think the parents are fully responsible for allowing the things that happen um, to their children. You know, there definitely needs to. You got to be a good parent, guy. You got to inspect what they're doing. You have to check out. Pretty the, much, you can't be ignorant. You can't. Right. You can't just. Check out Here, the content take, before you play just... a video game so you get out of my hair so I could go on my iPhone and play do my iPhone for an hour and you could do your own thing. No. Check the shit your kids are buying or you're buying because it's not okay to buy a seven year old a rated M video game. It is. I'm sorry, it's not. But that's the that's a big reason why I love Nintendo. Is because they keep it innocent. They do. They really do. They do a good job. Yeah, that. and that's why I always root for Nintendo. Like if I'm ever playing a game, it's Nintendo because it's happy and it doesn't make me feel scared. It doesn't make me feel anxious. Heal my beast, man. Yeah. Oh, oh. wait. wait, wait. Yeah. I your beast. I think you're clubbing them in the back of the head. Oh, I didn't mean to, dude. I'm sorry. He's okay. Just keep keep healing him. Oh. No, it's a saber tooth. Oh, tooth. Uh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know what also bugs me is that all these systems have parental locks on them. It's like you can pro you can put it in there so that the kids can't play mature games. Yeah, but there's so many like workarounds. But you know on that what? Stuff. Kids, oh, let me tell you, kids are really smart in technology these days. They know how to get around things. They know how to find things out. I mean, our world today is all about technology. They are born, not born, but when they're two years old, they're holding their first iPad. They know their way around of technology, okay? That's Dude, the way of the future. Jacob, so he watched me unlock my account for the Wii U, and that uh -huh. password's pretty tough. Like, I have a pretty good password in there, mm. and yeah. he memorized it, and he unlocked yeah. my stuff. Kids, that's how they're, th that's, <laughs> the, that's the day and the age, that's how he they are today. when he was doing this. Yeah, uh -huh. kids are smart, don't underestimate them. So. Yeah, you just have to be, you have to be involved with your children. Don't, don't allow them. Even, I mean, this. even tits and ass. I mean, well, this is this has it all. This has you don't want your eight year old playing Grand Theft Auto. Titties. Your boobies. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is Far, far Cry Primal. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you hold okay, out your torch, so hold out our again, I have been sitting here for how many minutes? Please set the tree and I haven't figured out the point of this game yet, except there, um, like I said. You expand your village. <laughs> I Dude, haven't you, seen that yet. You just started a forest fire, man. <laughs> so you are... Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> You're not away with Let's this. start things on fire and um, get our saber tooth kill things. Okay. There you go. That, that's that's pretty the much, point of the game. That's pretty much the point of the game. So if you like pointless games... And then you grab, her, you grab materials and you craft things. You make... Your bows, your arrows, and all those other stuff. Because I'm really good. What's pretty good game? I like it. It's actually fun. And I remember what. Remember this about games, okay? And I think that you need to see if you agree with me on this, okay? Splatoon, heavy in story. No. I think so. No. no. You have to figure it out. No, it's not. Okay. But what what drives that game? It's gameplay, because it's fun, right? Yeah. And that's the same thing for this game, too. So... I'm starting to fire. Is it than Splatoon? I... Totally different games. Let's start trees and players. Yeah, I... 
You should probably like light a wolf on fire or something. I don't want to light my favorite. No, I'm not him. He's our buddy. Buddy. He's our big bus. There's a. There's another saber tooth. Oh, you're you scaring him away though. That's the good thing about your pet. Like before, if you don't have your pet out, these guys just freaking start attacking you. Remember? Yeah. No. I don't really understand why they're did they get cut oh, off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Too long? Oh, I feel horrible now. <laughs> I feel like I'm a bad person. <laughs> Maybe I can't play. I mean, so, okay, let me let me break this down for you for this game. All I see so far in this game is trees, rocks, leaves, and shit. That's all you. If you are into nature, buy this game because all I see is bark. So lilac, fire, saber tooth. So a really That's cool it. thing about That's this it. game, what I like to do is actually jump on my pussy, uh, <sighs> equip the harpoon, and go hunt some freaking mammoths because it's freaking awesome. <laughs> That's what's the awesome mammoth. about this game. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm like sleepy just watching this game. Well, we probably should end it here. Then. Um, this is Far Cry Primal. Ken seems like she doesn't like the game too much. I dig it. I think it's actually pretty okay, good. Okay, for someone who doesn't play video games, I don't see the appeal. I mean, I get that it's um, the detail in nature. It's great. But, I mean, all I've seen so far is burning shit down, following your saber tooth around, uh, pointing your bow and arrow at nothing. And yeah, so if you want to buy this <laughs> game and waste your money, go ahead. You Sounds know? like a because, great um, review, Candice. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's Far Cry, Cry for Primal. Um, you can get it on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox that One or PC. <laughs> This is like Nick with, uh, what was that other game we played, Nick, recently that was, uh, that you didn't really dig too much? Oh, uh, Till Dawn. Till Dawn, that's I hated right. that game. I hated like that game. Garbage. So. Like, all you've been doing is walk around the, my, in the meadow. Cut my cat on fire. Sorry. Oh, I cut my cat on fire. Sorry. It's all good. Anyways, mm. we're Team Bit. Like, subscribe to our channel. Oh, now you're, you're feeding him your you little later. staff thing. Bye. Yeah.